plantation camps were <coughs> houses put together, built by the plantation for their, uh, for their workers to live. And, and they, they wanted their workers close to the sugar mill. And so the mill was located in this little village called Halaula. Halaula. But because Koala had several plantations, uh, they had about seven different sugar plantations that produced sugar. Uh, the plantation camps were then scattered throughout North Koala. There was Ho'ea Camp, Havi Camp, uh, and camp is just, it's not where you pitch up a tent, you know. <laughs> Most people will call that a camp. But in our growing up, camp was simply a collection of homes um, at different parts of the uh, North Kohala. And usually around the mills where those plantation workers worked at. So Halava Plantation had a Halava camp. Newly E Plantation had a Newly E camp. Avi had a camp, and my ours was in Halaula. That's where I grew up. And plantation house was very simple, uh, very rudimentary, very basic. And I remember when I was a little kid. There was a kitchen, the main house was a kitchen, and two bedrooms, two bedrooms and a parlor, and a kitchen. And in the kitchen, it was, um, there, there was almost like a place, like, like a fireplace, where you could actually build a fire to cook. But nobody cooked at that time. And, and, and at that time, that time there, were no, there was no gas. Uh, you know, zap, boom. No, it was kerosene. It was a kerosene stove, and there were two burners and three burners. Ours was a three burner kerosene stove with kerosene and a top with the pots, and on the side, was a gallon of kerosene that fed through the wick and light and boop, you got a fire. So my mother cooked on that for a long time, a long time. Uh, there, there were no refrigerators. And we had electricity, but it was very, very simple. Like, this would be like one room, and there'd be one light, click, that illuminated the room. You went to the next room, there was one light, click. And, and the outhouse, we didn't have an outhouse. Wow. It was like the house was here, and then there was our neighbor here, another neighbor here, and another neighbor here. And in between those four houses, were four, shall I call them bathrooms? Yeah. So there was this common bathroom that had four bathrooms. Two houses in the back went in this way, and our house was here, and Nakanishi house. Yeah, our neighbor was Nakanishi. Went this way. And so there was a, a toilet with a constantly flowing water. It wasn't dry. You didn't have to put lime or, you know, it was, and it was no smell at all because it was constantly flowing. The water, and you're looking at puka, and there's water flowing constantly. So it was rather clean and pleasant, and no hot water heaters, of course. And my mother, used to bathe me in the, in the wash basin. And there was a spigot there, and that's where I was washed as a baby, in that
tub, I guess, a wash basin. And she didn't have a washing machine. It was all by hand on a scrub board. And I remember as a little boy watching my mom scrubbing our clothes. And then no dryer, of course, and, and my dad built um, uh, some clotheslines in the back where my mother would dry the clothes. So it was a, a very simple plantation life. Mm -hmm.